Hello, this is Michael Smith, and I'm uh, really happy to be able to talk to you this morning about the class that we're starting really soon, and uh, I'm looking forward to that time together. I've spent my life studying histories and humanities, and uh, these have been the focus of most of my writing and research through the years. I have a master's degree in history from Clemson University and recently completed my uh, MA in English from Southern New Hampshire University with an emphasis in nonfiction writing. So these are my areas of, of expertise. I'm also a student still at 65 years old. I'm still a student working on my PhD in history from Liberty University. And I look forward to completing that. Maybe I'll retire from going to school at that point and uh, spend more time in other pursuits. But for right now, like you, I'm still a student. I still have the same limitations and struggles with balancing life, work experience, and all those things that you struggle with uh, every day. So I understand what it means to be an online student, to keep your life going, have children, have family. All of those things are important to each of us. And so we have to learn to find our work-life balance and to do well in the pursuits that we were given. It's an exciting time to be alive because history and humanities uh, are almost daily in our newspaper. Maybe we don't recognize them, but we will during this course talk about how they impact our local life and the world that we live in around us today. Because history, uh, as one fellow said, either good or bad, that history, if we don't pay attention to it, that we're doomed to repeat it over and over. And so I think sometimes we see that in our world that we live in today, that we make the same mistakes over and over. So I just want to say hello to you, and I'm looking forward to getting started. One of the important things that I want you to note is that I will publish a, an expectations document uh, that will help you. If you haven't taken history in a while or, or humanities, and you haven't written anything in a while, maybe this will be helpful to you as to what I expect from you in the way of the discussion board each week as far as length and content. And also, I'll be hosting a live chat office hours on Wednesday evening at uh, 8 o'clock my time, 7 o'clock your time. I'm on the East Coast, and you're, most of you are in the Midwest, the so Western states. So pay attention to your time. Put a, an alarm in your phone so you don't miss it, because it is worth 15 points a week and extra credit for you to show up, to be counted, and to join the, the discussion Bring any questions that you might have or any issues that you want to discuss about the course and bring those with you because no doubt other students will have the same uh, problems and issues that you're facing and they're going to want to hear answers to the same questions. So hopefully we can, uh, you know, help with that. I'm always available. You have my phone and my email. I encourage you to use those. Students that contribute and communicate usually do better in this class. It's usually... The, the, the students that do the best are the ones that show up for live chat. They communicate, they ask questions, and they get a clear understanding of what's required of them so they make better grades. And so let me encourage you to look at the expectations, uh, to, to go through the materials every day. I will be sending you reminders on a daily basis uh, because I upgrade update your grades every day so that you know exactly where you stand. And so there's never a question about that. If there ever is, feel free to to call me, but I do do that every day and I send you a notice that they've been updated so that you can look at them and see for yourself exactly where you are grade wise. And more importantly, if there's any announcements about content or information that will also be reminded as well. I do try to remind you of the coming deadline. We only have really one deadline in this class and that is Sunday night. And then the new week starts the next morning. This is a five week class, so it moves very rapidly. Uh, to the end. And so you want to keep up abreast of your grades and the materials as you go. Try not to get behind. And I understand that life happens. It will, it happens more than we want to think it does. And, and things get in the way. It seems like every each time you stand up and say, I want to do something good for myself, that every uh, demon in hell uh, wants to stand up and say, well, I'm going to oppose you. So there's illness and there's family problems and all that stuff. That's the normal course. I've been going to school now for 57 out of 65 years. And that hasn't changed in that that's that's the one constant that you'll always have opposition, you'll always have struggles. And so let's be encouraged. Let's keep moving. And if you get discouraged or fall behind, you don't be surprised if you see a note from me or receive a phone call from me to encourage you and kind of prod you along. That is my part of my job is your mentor and your teacher. But I want you to know that I do understand 
and I do want to be of help to you. So we'll look forward to seeing you in a few days. And until then, uh, let's get ready for a great class together. Thank you.